Hello and welcome to the Scripts Organizer 3.4 feature release. The first uh, feature is uh, UX uh, and we investigated that even if you have option to sort by the script tags, sometimes you just uh, forgot under which tag it is, but you know the name. For example, we want to find the team uh, 2.0 and uh, we can just start typing number 2 and you can see or we can start typing team and it's going to be displayed right away also I want to mention that the search is also checking for the script uh, numbers as well and for example if we open the website and we start investigating and we go to the header so we search for a script organizer here it is uh, for example, we found this one, it's uh, number 50, and if we start typing the 50, we are going to find it right away. So you can see how useful it is. The second one is also UX improvement. And uh, in a previous version, you had only one label, uh, one button with the label add new, and you could also easily be lost uh, what you are adding because for example, if you are, at, as you can see uh, under the partials, you will be adding new partial. But for example, if you open this one, you can easily get lost uh, if you are opening the, or if you will, will add a new partial or you will add a code block. And once you add a Gutenberg extension, it's going to be even more confusing. So what we did is uh, we added uh, multiple add uh, buttons so you can easily just create add uh, or add a new block new partial or a new gutenberg if you have the add-on so from wherever uh, location you are you will still have those buttons so you can easily create a new code block even from the partial location and the next feature is really useful and that's to set the scripts priority and we have uh, option for a uh, front end and for the back end uh, and also the option when it's uh, embedded and embedded means you didn't uh, want it to create the file so let me just show you if you open it and if you go to the source uh, this is the embedded or how people like to call it uh, inline style and uh, if you created the file we press update you will see let's find number 50 just a second yes you can see that now it's a file so based on if it's a file or if it's a link you can set the global for all the scripts and this is going to be a huge time saver and it's really useful especially if some plugin is uh, having higher priority than the scripts you created then you need to write the important but it's much easier if you just set the higher priority and then it's going to overwrite it right away and the next feature is a real time saver that's a library load and it's disabled by the default you need to go to the features enable it then save changes uh, once uh, feature is uh, enabled let's start testing it and uh, let's uh, just make some space so uh, what we can do is uh, background purple and you can see that everything is uh, updated right away without needed needing to uh, reload so let's just uh, change it to something like this and uh, but you can see that also it's uh, changed inside the oxygen as well without uh, reloading. So let's just change it to something else again. And you can see that everything is uh, updated here and here as well. So what you can do is you can work inside the oxygen and also you can have the real preview inside the front end as well. 
so hopefully uh, you guys like uh, what we are doing with the script organizer how much we are pushing it and uh, all the new changes that we brought to you so subscribe to our uh, channel come to our facebook group give us uh, more suggestions uh, what uh, works be best with uh, your workflow and how we can shape it to help you with that uh, goodbye from the deep plugins team and see you soon with the new features that we prepare for you